Hello, family. So, welcome to the first episode of Helmet Chronicles. And no, I do not have the helmet on today, but it's here. So, if I need to put it on, I will. Um, so, um, I have two cameras going here. I have one Facebook Live, and I have one going on my YouTube channel. But in order for that one to pick up, I need a few more subscribers, so that's okay. They're coming. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about um, the fun part of being a football parent. Not necessarily a football parent, but a sports parent. Um, I see some of my viewers are joining in, so thank you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know I said 6 o'clock. Don't judge me. You know, I'm here. Hey, Wendell. So... I just wanted to, yes, my first official Ben, yes, first official. So as soon as I get my views up, um, I'll be able to do it from actual uh, YouTube. So in the meantime, Facebook is where it's at. Um, yes, Ben, you did. You got fooled into watching it unofficial before, but it's okay. It's okay. Here is the official. Um, so <laughs> so um, this weekend actually was a great um, start to me kicking off the show because, um, as stated in, uh, you know, previous conversation, being a sports parent is hard work. Um, there's so much into being a sport parent. Um, hey PJ, a lot of people think it's easy and it is not. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys insight on, um, a few things, but definitely the good, the bad and the ugly. So, um, leading into that, the good part about being a sports parent is you get to travel, you get to meet new people. Like all of my viewers, I met 90% of you guys, well, my Gator fans, I met 90% of you guys through um, Facebook, Instagram, being at some of the games, um, you know, um, considering that my son is an actual Gator. So, the um, travel, visiting the different schools, the different stadiums, amazing. Um, Florida absolutely has one of the best stadiums, but I will say some of our rival schools have some amazing stadiums. Um, I don't like FSU. Everybody know that. I ride them every chance I get, but I must say they have a beautiful stadium. So I will definitely um, give them that. They have an amazing stadium. So, But um, outside of that, the travel, um, anytime I can leave, you know, Brevard County and, and go outside, not just outside of the county, but to different states, um, supporting my son is absolutely phenomenal. Um, some of the bad parts to being a sports mom, um, everybody know, I think I have, you know, two personalities. I have Dale, well, actually I have three because I have Dale, I have Lil Dale, and I have Petty Johnson. <laughs> now, Dale is nice. She's super friendly. She would give you the shirt off of her back. Lil Dale, not so nice. Uh, cuts up at times. And uh, yeah, sometimes don't really care what she says. Now, Petty Johnson, oh, she out of control. Petty Johnson is just that. She is petty. Capital P-E-T-T-Y. Absolutely petty. But all three of those mixed in one, you know, I'm an amazing person. So, hey. But the thing about that... Um, hey, Sharon, Willie, yes, you can go to a game. Uh, you want to go and they play Georgia. Okay, we'll talk offline about that, absolutely. But um, being a sports parent, it is extremely, extremely hard because the bad part to all of the good that I mentioned is I had to learn over the years to zip it. I'm still working on that, okay? Don't judge me. I'm still working on that. I'm still working on zipping it, Um I'm still working on leaving Lil Dale where she at. Um, I'm still working on not lashing out as much as I used to. But she's still in there. <laughs> um, because of who my son is, I have to be very careful with the things I do, the things I say. You know, my whole lifestyle has had to change just a tad bit. And I've always said I never wanted that to happen. But unfortunately, that all comes with it because... Um, Lil Dale can't cut up because it will no longer be Dale Johnson cut up. It'll be Chauncey's mom. Everything will turn into Chauncey's mom. Um, in fact, when I go to the football field now, where anytime I see a little kid, hey, CJ mama, and I'm like, 
I got a name. My name is not CJ Mama, but I get it. So, um, you know, that that's some bad parts to it. Um, I also have two smaller kids who, you know, it affects them sometimes being CJ brother because people expect so much out of them, so much out of them. Um, you know, especially with my boys in sports, um, a lot of people want them to be like CJ when CJ is his own person, Brandon is his own person and Byron is his own person. So, um, that's kind of hard. Um, in fact, my youngest one quit football last season, last year, because it was too much pressure being CJ's brother. So it is tough. You know, it, it can be, um, now some of the ugly, um, this weekend, as we all know, we played Kentucky and CJ made a comment that what, what is it? 31 is going to be 32. Now, mind you, CJ wasn't the only one that made that comment. Well, he was the only one that made that particular comment, but he was not the only one that felt that UF was going to beat Kentucky. I said it. I did a couple of lives before Saturday, and, you know, I was adamant that we were going to beat Kentucky. A lot of the Gator fans were adamant we were going to beat Kentucky, but somehow Lil Dale, Petty Johnson had to come out, and I had to straighten a few people because... You know, the comment that was made was Chauncey's big mouth talking crap last week. Well, Chauncey's big mouth was not the reason that we lost the game. We lost because, like he said, again, he, he did another interview for those of you that are waiting. Um, there was a lot of things that affected the game on Saturday. Um, I was at the game. I'm sure you guys watched the game. So I'm sure you're watching the highlights. You know, I don't know if you recorded the game. I did. You can come over and watch it if you want. You know, we can sit down together and go over why they lost. But that's the bad part about being a sports mom because I have to keep Lil Dale and Petty Johnson to the side as best as I can. And it's hard. CJ's freshman year, I think I was on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, any type of social media site there was, I was arguing with people left and right. I was receiving text messages, inboxes about how I need to relax, you know, don't worry about it, let them people talk. And that's easy to say when you are not a... When you're not a sports parent, I guess. Um, but then again, I had a lot of sports parents that tell me that as well. Um, because I, I have to remind people, at the end of the day, I'm a mother first. So it is my job to protect my son. Um, it is my job to protect his feelings. And I will do that at all costs. Now, I'm learning. I'm getting better. You know, my ratchetness is not as ratchet. <laughs> um, my pettiness is not as petty. Um, some may think it is, that's okay. But, um, at the end of the day, I'm a mother first. So it's hard to not want to protect your babies. You know, I, I have a hard time sitting back and letting people treat my babies in a kind of way. Now, I don't just do it for CJ. Please understand that. I go hard for all three, not just CJ. Um, CJ is just in a different position than my other two. You know, um, he's constantly under a microscope. He's constantly, you know, out in the headlines. His face is there. So um, I have to protect him a little more than I do the others. But I'm a mother first, and, and I try to remind people of that. I also try to remind people who have negative things to say about any child that plays sports, whether it's soccer, kickball, basketball, football, tennis, whatever it is, these babies have mamas. And if anybody acts like me, I get you. Now, the world may not understand, but I get it. So, um, you, you, you must be re reminded that we are parents first and about my children. All of that goes out the window. I have no religion <laughs> when it comes to my kids. I have no understanding when it comes to my kids. I have a zero tolerance when it comes to my kids. So... Um, at the end of the, at the end of the day, you got to remember that I'm a mother first. So that is, you know, one of the bad things. And, and that's the ugly part about sports because people sit behind a keyboard all day and they do this or do this, however you choose to do it. And they say mean and nasty things. And it's not fair to the kids because at the end of the day, he's still a child. Yes, he's 20. I get it. But this stuff was happening when he was 18. So... You know, you got to understand if this was your kid, you know, you wouldn't want people saying some of the things that they say. But I get it. But I also understand 
a lot of the chitter chatter come from people that have never played one down on the football field, have never bounced the basketball, um, probably never hit a tennis ball, all of the above. So a lot of it comes from people that really don't understand the concept and what these kids do, what they go through. And I get it. So I know I got a lot of sports parents um, out here on my social media sites. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm live on Facebook and I'm also on the YouTube. So if you have any questions, definitely um, you can ask me a question and I would definitely um, be able to answer that question for you because it's hard. Um, but I also tell people, it takes a lot to get to, not even just the college level, but it takes a lot to get to certain levels, period. Um, I try to tell everybody, academics is priority. Academics is priority. I say it again. Academics is priority. You cannot want to go to that D1 level and you have Ds in school. You want to go to the D1 level, you got to perform to get to that level. You got to do the same thing in the classroom. You got to perform in the classroom to get to that D1 level. Um, again, that's all a part of being in sports. It's hard. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. The good... You have the talent. You can do whatever it is you want to do. The bad, the grades don't follow. Test scores don't follow. Attitude don't follow. The ugly, all that talent goes to waste. Um, hang on, somebody got a question? Hey, Miss Doris. Yes. Um, so, yes, um, you got to put all of that together. And also being a parent, I got to put all that together. So in order to make sure that I'm able to enjoy the good, I got to make sure that my child was performing in the classroom. I had to make sure that he was performing outside of just sports to get to that next level. The bad, believe it or not, CJ fans, he was lazy. Oh, he was lazy. I stayed on that child. I stayed on that child. And I still stay on him. He's in college now, performing at a collegiate level. I still stay on him. Even at 20 years old, mama stay in his business. There's no such thing as I'm grown. Well, not for my kids. All right, not, not for my kids. I, mean, I get it. They grown, but I stay on them. Now, the ugly part to that, he come home and use my washing, my washing, washing machine and my washing powder. He comes home and eat my food. He bought a dog home a year ago, and I still got the dog. And I'm taking care of the dog. So there's a lot that goes in with being a sports mom because athletes, for some reason, get to college and get an animal that they can't even take care of. And I'm stuck taking care of the dog. So I still got Sky. But um, again, a lot of comments are being made, you know, and, and, and actually I was, I was impressed because Saturdays, I didn't see a lot of CJ bashing as much as I used to see two years ago, now his first year at Florida, I thought I was gonna have to string with somebody. Yeah, I said it. I thought I was gonna have to string with somebody, but I didn't. Everybody left me alone after a while. But I think I had like 10,000 arguments his freshman year. Every time I seen somebody say something about my baby, I jumped on line and I went in. I had to back off. Again, there is a lot of stress you know, a lot of stress comes, you know, being being a, a sports mom. I think I had blood pressure problems, but I just never went and got it checked out. So I think I'm good now. I think I'm good. But there is a lot with being a football mom, a, a sports mom. Um, actually, I have one of my Gator moms, Miss Pam. Hi, Miss Pam. She's on the live. Miss um, Pam, while I'm doing this, I just want you to kind of leave a comment about your thoughts about being a a sports mom, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know, give, give the viewers some insight being a sports mom. Um, and it, 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 and it's extremely difficult, especially, um, when you play for certain schools, people don't like to believe that or like to hear that, but it's the truth. Um, when you're at certain schools, so much is expected out of the athletes. And when they don't perform to the standards of America and the people that's never played it down, the, ple the people that has never, you know, seen anything outside of watching sports on TV or knowing about a friend that plays sports, there is so much expectation. And it's ridiculous. And as soon as the kids don't give as much as they want, they sorry, they garbage. Seeing those kind of words get people cursed out. I mean... 
towards my baby and get people cussed out. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. So you got to be careful what you say. You got to be careful how you treat people, kids. You got to be careful. Social media is brutal. Um, but it's brutal because you're allowed to because, again, you live in Oregon, Washington, D.C., California, Texas, Virginia. You know, you live outside of the county. Some of you do. Um, where the kids play, you know, live, where the kids' families are from. And those are the ones that talk the most junk. And it's, it, it drives me crazy. But I always tell everybody, when you can show me that you can do better than what the kids are doing on the field, then we can have a conversation. And obviously you can't because you're sitting back watching them play. So just keep that, you know, in the back of your head somewhere that you can't really give any input if you've never played the sport, especially at a collegiate level. It is hard. It is difficult. It is crazy. Trust me. Um, and it doesn't just have to be any questions um, for me, considering that, you know, even if your child is not in college. Um, if you are a football parent, or I keep saying football, obviously that's what I'm used to, but if you are a sports parent, period, and you have a question about how to handle certain things, you can always inbox me. If you have my number, you can text me. Um, if you're on the lives, you can always post a question. I'll make sure I read it and answer your question. But, um... Yeah, it, it's fun. It, it is. It's fun. But like I say, the good, the bad, and the ugly part to being a sports parent is you have to deal with so much, so much criticism. Um, you're always under a microscope, just like your child. And for some reason, you know, a lot of it's, it's funny because a lot of people will hit me up and say, oh, can you tell Chauncey to do X, Y, Z? I can tell him. But Chauncey isn't the only one on the field. There are other players on the field and if everybody does not come together collectively then it's a problem that's just like baking a cake you can't bake a cake without certain ingredients well you can but it won't be a nice fluffy tasty cake you can't fry chicken without grease you can again it won't be crispy the way i like it i'm just saying so if any one of y'all want to cook for me make sure y'all got some good hot grease and i'm on my way um but yeah any, I actually have a, a couple of parents. I have another parent. Her son played um, at the collegiate level. Um, he played for one of our rival schools, University of Tennessee. Oh, University of Tennessee. Listen, my big mouth going to open now. I'm saying it. I'm claiming it. What y'all say? Speaking in the atmosphere. So whenever we speak, I want to be rich in the atmosphere, or I want, I, or I want to hit the lottery, or I want to be a business owner, or I want to do this, I want to do that. Everybody be okay with it. But if we speak into the atmosphere that we gonna win the rest of our games, now if we don't. I jinx y'all, but that's okay, cause we all know that ain't how it work. But it's okay. But my friend, her son played for University of Tennessee, and she helped me get through some of the good, the bad, and the ugly because she has been there. Um, she, her son was ahead of CJ by the time CJ got there. And she went through some of the same things that I went through. And it is crazy. So anybody that has a child, a nephew, a niece, cousin, whoever, like I said, it's not even just football, it's all sports. But I, I think tennis players, oh, I think they are... Listen, tennis is a hard sport. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 soccer is a hard sport. Tennis, I don't understand how people just want to go back and forth on the court. That takes a lot of energy. But Serena, that's my girl. She do it. Um, but football, I just always want to know. So for some of, my, some of my guys that are watching my life, why is it that football gets the worst? Like, y'all bash football players. Like, football is, when it comes to being, you know, the most crap talking sport. Why is that? So one of my guys that's watching my live answer that question because I've, I've always wanted to know why is football so competitive? Why is it so competitive? I know it's a competitive sport, but sometimes y'all take that stuff to a whole nother level and I never understood why. So one of my guys on here or females, I can't, I can't leave y'all out. Y'all know football. I really don't. My son just play. Um, I'm just here for the journey. For the ride again it's fun but why is football so competitive outside of being on the field why is 
every every Friday night, football trash, well, every football season, the trash talking starts. Why? I, I always wanted to know why, why that is. So one of my guys that's watching my live, answer that question for me. But again, um, some of the good, the bad and the ugly too. Let me see. Go ahead and tell them who CJ number one fan is. Wendell, it's you. <laughs> Listen. So Wendell and I met via Facebook, and this man loves his CJ. And, and that's that's oh so okay. So that's the fun part, okay? Being the mom of CJ, to me in my household, he is just CJ. To the world, some, he is this God. To some, he's disliked. I get it. I understand why. But um, Wendell is my baby's, one of his biggest fans. And Wendell will jump on a live, will jump on a post, will jump on anything about his CJ. <laughs> he will. Um, because we got to let everyone know Florida is the best. Listen, no, I just want to know why is football so competitive. I, I just need to know that. I need to know why Football is so competitive. I, I've always wanted to know why is football so competitive. So one of my males, Craig, Craig Spencer, he was one of my baby's first football coaches. Why is football so competitive on and off the field? Because y'all go hard for football. Ooh, y'all ride for football. So I just need to know why football is so competitive. Um, for my my football parents, um, because right now, football season is in. For those of you that travel to um, the games, home and away games, um, I always tell, especially mamas, if you're going on an away game, take your girlfriends and turn it into a girl's trip. Now, that's a good, that's a plus to it all. Yeah, I go to see my baby play. I do. I promise I do. But I also go to go hang out with my girlfriends. Why not? That's, that's the fun in it. Um... The athletes make it that way. That's what makes it fun. Okay, so why you fans always talking crap? My friend Dre said, football is considered a titan sport, and it's the ultimate test of testosterone, the man sport. Okay, okay, I get it. So, okay, so my question with that. Whenever, um, when the kids play, you know, when the young men play, when they go out there and, and, and they make these comments that we're going to win, you know, nobody can beat us, and then they lose, why y'all take it so personal? It's just, I get it. It's a man's sport. But why, why? It's not that you take it personal. Why the personal attacks? Answer that, Dre. Why the personal attacks? Especially on the kids. You didn't do it. So you say, you good. You good. You, you good, friend. It wasn't you. You good, friend. Um, let me see. Let me see. Coach Ray, are you on here, Coach Ray? Coach, you, you see it up close and personal. Why is football so competitive? Do you agree with what Dre said? That it's considered a Titan sport and it's the ultimate test of testosterone? Well, listen, y'all need to find something else to do because y'all be going in. Oh, listen, at the games. So Saturday, we were at, at Florida and um, I seen this fan, a Florida fan. This man got up and threw his whole drink and his nachos in the trash and left the stadium. Now, I feel like Nike. Everybody want to burn their Nike shoes and all that stuff. Burn your Nike shirts. Go ahead. You pay for it. <laughs> you, you pay for it. So I think it's crazy that he threw his stuff away because, you know, they hadn't made their money off of him. But, yeah, he, he threw the stuff in the garbage can and he talked crap and he stumped out the stadium. I laughed. I mean, I thought that was hilarious. Craig said, Craig said, them the ones that cannot play that complain. Now, that's true because the gentleman that I had to set straight the other day, I don't think he's ever played football. Hold on. Who's trying to join my live? You coming in to join my live? Yeah, you can. Come on. I can move the chair. Come on. I, I'll feel you. So, hold on, y'all. I'm going to bring Brian in. Um, Dre said because most fathers are living. Yes, that's true. They're living through their kids or our kids are an extension of us. That's true. Hang on, y'all. Come on, pumpkin. Noodle. Yeah. Okay. Here. So, today we're talking about the good. Oh, you got to have a seat. Come on. I ain't got a seat. Yeah, you can sit with me. Come on. You can sit with me. Sit. Oh, shit. I got the helmet. We ain't putting it on today. You wrote all that down? No, that was my old cue cards. I don't need oh. them right now. Um, so, my question was, 
uh, well, it's not really a question. The topic today is being a, a, a sport parent, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. So I was letting them know the good part, you know, we get to travel. We get to visit all these other stadiums. Right. We get to see our kid play. That's, that's, a, that's not more of a benefit. No, it's the good for me. It's not a good. Yeah, it's a good for me. Listen, we can't. you can't come on here to disagree with my life. You got to just agree with me right now, okay? I'm not, I'm not guess, <laughs> so listen, so um, the bad is, like I was telling them, you know, we got to be careful now how we move. We got to be careful the things we say. Not, the, not me. <laughs> Listen, we got to be careful with the yeah. things that we do uh, because of who our kid yeah. is. And the ugly I mean, is... I ain't, ain't going to kill nobody. <laughs> no. I will let you know how I feel. Listen. You, can, you can send it to Sports Center, whoever the hell you want to spend a send it to. <laughs> but I will let your ass know about This is a Christian live... Ass in the Bible. I haven't used one curse word. Ass is in the Bible. But you're using it in a, in a very negative way. Uh, okay. So, and I was telling them, um, the ugly is like Saturday. Um, CJ made a comment that, you know, what is going to be, with, it's 31, what is going to be 32. Right. And people had so much to say. Right. And that's the bad part because as a parent, right. again, we got to, you know, we try to sit back and be careful on yeah, what we say and how we address people. And, and, and But I did introduce, I, I told them about three people. Yeah. I told them about Dale, yeah. Lil Dale, <laughs> and Patty Johnson. <laughs> but I've improved. Have, have I not improved since the first season? Yeah, since freshman year, I've come a long way. But, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. that's how he felt when he said what he said. He really, he really meant that he going out there to win the game. It didn't turn out that way. But that's how he feel. And he doubled down on that saying they're going to bounce back this week. Trust me. We'll bounce back. Trust me. That's just how he feel. You're not going to get him to say, I predict us to lose next week. That's not going to happen. You know, I think I need to stand behind you because I can't see. Because uh, I need to stand up. No. Oh, okay. Boom. There you go. Nah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, so, so any of y'all kids out there, if you feel like, well, like I told him, I texted him, and I told him, don't ever back down from nothing you said and have and be scared to say it again if that's how you feel. But if you just saying it to say it, don't say it. But if you really mean you going out there to win, that don't mean... Y'all gonna win, but you plan to win like you should every Saturday. Oh, yeah, I was watching. <laughs> they showed food on the TV. I'm hungry. But, yeah, if you got a kid that's in sports, always support him. Levo. No, shout outs in a minute. Oh. So, I told them. Look, he said black. I knew it. So, <laughs> I told, I also told people how. Yeah. To even get to this level, to even play at the D1 level, you right. got to be D1 across the board. Right. In the classroom, right. test scores, right. character, and ain't, and everything ain't, about it. It ain't easy. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy. Oh, my God. It's not, it's not mean, easy. It, it wasn't a walk in the park for CJ. Oh. It Thank wasn't you. a walk in the park for CJ. I know y'all think just because he there and he whatever y'all claim he is. It wasn't a walk in the park. Oh, my he God. Had, I'm going to turn the TV off. He yeah, can't. Yeah, need to. He can't watch he TV. Had, he had his insecurities about a lot of stuff, even in high school. But y'all, when y'all see him, I mean, and polished him up by then. Been and talked to him and told him he can do it. That's it. Just support your kids. No matter if they want to be a doctor, lawyer, a... Uh, a manager at Winn-Dixie. Yeah. A.K.A. Whatever. Harvey's. Whatever. Support your kids. They got... I mean, it ain't the end of the world because they ain't a D one athlete. You would like that. I didn't. I didn't raise CJ to be a D one athlete. That's what he wanted. I just wanted him to be a damn, be able to take care of God. I mean, to be able to take care of himself, not to be a D one athlete. All this stuff, this all his doing. I can't take credit for what he got going on. Nah, I just support it. I mean, I love to see it, but. So being a sports dad, right? How do you feel? Like when you go to the games on Saturday, when you right. see him on TV, right. when you know what? What do you see? What What do you see as as a dad, as a sports dad? What you mean? Like, how, what do you see? Like he's just CJ to us, right? So with the other kids, like with his friends, with all the teammates, 
what do you see CJ as? Like, like he, we, he's our kid. So, what, what do you see him as? When I when I'm there, yeah. I mean, I'm a fan when I'm there, but right after the game, I'm back to daddy. But he a, he a pro prospect. And you know, and and that's another thing. So that's another thing. The, that's the bad, the bad and the ugly to it. So at the end of the day, he's our kid. And like Saturday's loss was tough. So to have to sit there, watch the game, and then to and then to see my child come out of the tunnel and drop his bag and just walk and then just cry, that was one of the hardest things ever as a parent. Right. So when that comment was made, that's why I went in as hard as I did because that's what I try to tell people. Yeah, they don't see the you don't the see scene. the behind the scenes. Yeah. Now, Helmet Chronicles will give you an opportunity to do that. Um and then that, some of that, you may understand it, some may not. That might have been a little bit too private. Yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, I love y'all life. I salute y'all family ambition. Hey, Thank you, hey, Leon. Hey, I got to, I got to say this. Cody, boy, you hard, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Cody. Listen, don't forget, no, Cody and Wendell. Yeah. Well, first of all, hold on. Craig said he put in the work to get where he's at. That he did. And you know, okay, so Cody, hold on, we'll come back to you. What's up, family? What's up? But listen, Cody. Leave this my leave. This is my family now. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Okay. So here's here's another one. Ain't no so, practice. No, uh, he he got schoolwork. So uh, this is another thing. So hey, everybody mom. think it, it was easy. Like everybody think it was really easy. And people don't realize the work that CJ put in to get where he's at. Nothing was given to him. Nothing. Some some feel that things were given to him. Nothing was given to him. Everything he has, he earned. He earned his way, you know, his, his his right to graduate high school early by putting in the work. But prior to that, <laughs> listen, y'all, okay, I'm going to say it because I did. I almost beat this child every day, okay? It was a lot of work. He is a very smart kid, but that joker was lazy. And I stayed at Coco High School. I stay, I still got emails from the teachers that would tell me, oh my God, mom, thank you. You did a great job. Because, listen, it, it was work. Um, I wasn't satisfied with certain grades. So ask him what he did. Yeah, he was at summer school and, and we were doing, you know, uh, they call it credit retreat. He had the credit, but if you want to go to college on a certain level, I made him go and retake the course. It was just that simple. Test scores. I made him take the test every opportunity that the test was there. He was in the auditorium, cafeteria, wherever they took these tests at, and he retested up leading up until his 12th grade year. Um, but again... Oh, I need that 21. Oh my God. No, focus. <laughs> again, it wasn't... It, it, it wasn't just him. We, as parents, had to put in the work. So, uh, what's up, Boogie? What's up, Boogie? Uh, Coach Dre, Mr. Dre, you know why Boogie not at practice? Because Boogie m missed three days of school with the pink eye, and Boogie got some work to do. So Boogie can't go to practice today. Mm -hmm. School first. That that's what we that's what we preach around here. Education education first. And I've listen, but I did talk to the coach. I let Tony know that he has some assignments he got to make up. And unfortunately, football has to go on the back burner. And that's just what it is. Um, that's how I was with CJ. Football had to go on the back burner. There was no, oh, my, I'll do it later. What the doctor grade is looking like. What the doc Oh, so Brandon, yeah, Brandon, who wants to be a doctor, he got 101% in classes right now. The doctor in there now laying across his bed trying to re reinvent some stuff. I don't know. I'm going to make sure there's nothing illegal going on in there. But Boogie got some work to make up, so Boogie can't be at practice today. Now. He completes these assignments tonight. He'll be there tomorrow. He don't. He'll be right here at the crib. Um, but that's good for me because I damn sure ain't want to go down. Now. Didn't I say stop cussing on my life? Damn is not a cuss. It word. is. It's something that holds <laughs> water. So, but you ain't using it in that context. So, yeah. Um, it's, hey, Steven. Um, it is. It, it's a lot. It, it's it's a Sharon. lot. Um, we love you too. We love you too, Sharon. It's a lot with being with being a, a, a sports, you know, kid. There is a lot into it. Nobody hands you anything, but you know, it don't stop when you graduate. You know, when CJ graduated Coco High, it didn't stop. It got it, worse. It got worse. It got worse because it's hard being a student athlete. They it get, really is. They get more expensive. Oh my God! Yes. So, um, this I'm putting this out the PSA. Anybody that talked to CJ on the regular, 
let him know that his mama want her money back. Um, I have plans on, oh my God, so this is another one that we we can't <laughs> seem to get rid of. Um, okay, sit up. Say hi. Say hi, Mimi. You're not gonna say nothing. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it gets expensive. Um, I thought my, you know, uh, savings account was gonna look good when I got CJ out the house. And wrong answer. The food bill gets worse. Everything about a college student gets worse. What's up, Tony? Yo. Um. So yeah, it doesn't stop when he leave. Um. But again, you must, you must know me for real. You call me Brian. Oh my God, that's your friend. Who, Johnny, brother? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at Macy. Are you making faces for the camera? <laughs> so listen, Miss, you got to be in this one, too. Come I didn't on. know your name was Antonio. Oh, my God. Just, just like you ain't know my friend, Randell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, I definitely didn't know Randell. Listen. I would have never guessed Randell. Oh, my God. So listen. Um, but yeah. So what, what else can you say to them um, about the good, the bad, and the ugly of being a sports parent? And um, an athlete's parent. That's just um, for white folks. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, man, like I said earlier, just supportive. He gonna need, sometimes he just needs somebody to listen to him or her. Look at Macy. What you doing, Macy? <laughs> just vent, because sometimes they get homesick. Sometimes they ain't do good on a test. Sometimes, camera. oh, sometimes they just want to, they just want to tell you they love you. And that's enough. You just need to know y'all still there for him. Just so just beat up for him. So that was a bad part when I sent my baby to school. Oh my God. I had the ugly face the whole ride back to Coco. Uh, I know this is a Christian network, but his ass had to go. <laughs> Listen, he was leaving, but I didn't want to I didn't want to take him. I I was so excited, but the listen, the day of I cry and I cry. I cried the whole way back to Coco. I actually tried to stay in Gainesville for a couple of days, but somebody wouldn't let that happen. Um, but yeah, I almost moved to Gainesville. I almost moved to Gainesville. I couldn't take it. That was one of the hardest things ever to send my baby to school. It's hard. Oh my right. God, it was hard. It was I, difficult. I used to call him every day. No, used to? I don't call him every day no more. Y'all don't talk every day? No. Text every day? Yeah. No, uh, some type of communication yeah. every day. That's my dog. Yeah, of course. Matter of fact, he answered the phone more for you than he do me. Um, we are, we are. Brandy say very helpful information. And Brandy, and that is why, okay, you going with Boogie? Go, go let Brandy help you. Go let Brandy help you. Um, that is why. I gotta help oh, you got to help Brandy? <laughs> oh, that is why um, I started Helmet Chronicles because yeah, you may, you every may. week is going to be a new topic. And if you have, honestly, Brandy, if you have questions, make sure um, you just keep them on track. Inbox them to me, and yeah. I'll make sure I address it because. The sad part about it, you know, um, even with this, so you got people that will support you and you got people that won't support you. And, and that's the same thing with CJ. I got people that support him and I have people that don't support him. And What's up, Mike? Um, okay. I have people that support him and I have people that don't support him. And just like the, the Helmet Chronicles, I'm going to have supporters I, and, and I'm going to have people that's not going to click on it just gotta, because. And that's okay. Macy, you got to pay attention and smile for the camera. Um, that's okay smile. because smile. what what happens is the same people that want to be so secretive and want to, you know. And, and one thing about me, anybody know, I'm very, I'm an open book. I'm, I'm very open with, you know, with, with this whole football life. And, and we, we're here to help. Um, not because I think I'm better than anybody. But I've, I'm, I'm going through the process. I've been through the process. You know, yeah, and if that, I can be of any type of assistance to anybody, that first year, the, that's why we're doing it. That first year is the best and the worst. It is. It's the best <laughs> and the worst. But also that first year, what I'm doing now, I wish we had somebody to do because it was hard because we had to navigate this whole course by ourselves, not just the collegiate course, but the whole process of graduating the different offers, trying to decide on what school to go to. You know, I have a lot of Coach Spencer, uh, Coach Ray, Coach Folston. Uh, one good thing came out of that. What was that? We met we met Coach Mack and his staff. Yeah. They they was the best at integrating your kids in the, yeah. to the college system for real. They were. They absolutely now, were. You can talk about the football record all you want to. 
But them treating you like family and still doing what they said they was going to do yep. during the recruitment process, it was A1. It was. It was A1. But you know what? We were blessed with that because that don't always happen. That don't always happen. Families are told certain things, promised certain things, and it don't happen. So everything we were told, it happened. But yeah. I will say this. Coach not, Mack. Coach Mack will always be a friend to me. Yeah. Coach Dixon. Coach Dixon. Coach, Coach Rump. Rump. Coach Wynn, Shannon, Coach Wynn, Drew, Drew, Speedy. oh Speedy, Speedy, Speedy. oh if you ever see this Speedy, I love you Speedy and I miss you, um, Shawnee, Shawnee is still though. with Florida, yeah. I love Shawnee to death, that's my girl, Miss Deidre, oh my god, Cal. Coach Cal, like listen, shout out to the new coaching staff, no disrespect, but it started with that, that staff and it was amazing, um, but even though we had all that, hey, we hey, also had. Hey, wonder. We had to. But well, Cody is a goon. He is. Cody is a goon. <laughs> um, <laughs> we had to, as as parents, we had to do oh our part as goodness. well. We we had to do our part also. So it wasn't just sitting back, chilling, letting them do everything. As parents, you have to do your part as well. Um, Wendell. Cody, I know he doesn't want to talk to me. I know he see my tweets. Hey. I told you about that. Leave my baby alone. Hey. Brandy. Um, hey. I'm telling you, take notes, babe. You you got it. You know, anytime. Hey, I was on, I was on Listen, CJ. can no, you? Let me just say this. Oh, one time. MG, I'm about to kick him off I my line. Like, no, nah, I was on um, CJ Twitter, right? You got and it. And Wonder had level. <laughs> you no, know, somebody said something. Like, all I heard was the announcer saying Chauncey Gardner Johnson and Vashon Joseph. And then Wonder said. That wasn't the announcer. That was me hollering for CJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Wendell, Wendell is crazy. But, but that Cody. Cody is off the charts. Cody go ham, boy. Cody, and I love it. So, Cody, listen, Cody. Okay, bye-bye, Macy. You got to go. You're doing too much. You got to go. Go get Brandon. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Come on, go get Brandon. Cody, listen. Cody go ham. Cody, you going to be my friend forever. You going to say the stuff. That I can't say. Don't go, don't go too <laughs> left. Mama. Don't go too yeah, left. Yeah, don't go too left. But listen, I, I'm gonna be hitting you up. I'm gonna be hitting you like Cody. Well, if y'all get boom, friends, boom, 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 and I need you to run it, Cody, run it. If y'all get friends like them, <laughs> that ride for your kids. And we don't even know these people outside of Facebook land. What well, we met, well, they family. Yeah, now. they definitely family now. And and Brandy, like I say, take notes because. So, one thing I want you to definitely take notes about. Brandy, everybody that start with you, not going to finish with you. Always remember that. <laughs> Wendell said, Cody, we, Wendell, you going to leave our friend alone. Everybody that start with you, not going to finish with you. And there's a reason for that. Everybody ain't happy for you. Everybody not happy. Nah. Everybody's not going to be happy for your baby's nah. success. So they're going to start and they're going to appear to be and you got team... You you got you one. Yeah, they're gonna appear appear to be Team Brandy and Team Day Day. One. I know I am. I, listen, I'm a fan of all these kids, but they're gonna fall back once he start rising to a certain level. We know by you know personal experience. We we've been there, and and that is some of the bad because you know it was good. Later on, now I see the good in it, but it was definitely you know it, it was it was hurtful. So it was it was bad because it was people that we thought were friends. That really fell back, but it was also those people that sit back that we thought are friends, and we still think are friends to this day. So let me just take these off. I know the ones that still talking crap about my baby, and it's okay. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um, continue, continue. Already, Brandy. Yes, continue. <laughs> um, it's okay, Brandy, they, and 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 they're gonna sit right in your face and do it. You know, um, silently. But, you, but got, you know me, I publicly embarrass people. But you got you one. But you definitely got you, you one. Got you one. Um, so you're on a journey. You're starting where we were at a few years ago. So if you ever need anything, hit us up. You know, definitely. If you ever if, any questions, um, when it comes to these coaches talking to him, when it's time for recruiting, believe that. Always, always, always. Um, you got my number. Okay. You you know where I live. You're more than welcome to always hit me up. Because Memphis is tough. It is uh, it's good. Um <laughs> I'm just saying I don't care. Facebook, Twitter, Insta, whatever, let me see something about CJ. I know that's right, Wendell. What he said about uh let me see. I'm from Memphis originally. I ain't weak boy. Okay, okay. Cody, okay, okay. Um 
But yeah, Brandy, you definitely got you one. And and I'm so excited. Yeah. Hang on. I'm so excited um, with where it's going. And you know the, the thing about it, Brandy? I'm going to tell you what I love about this. So I, I started this, like I say, I, I'm going to come on here probably twice a week, you know, like midweek or, or as needed. Um, but definitely after the weekends, after the football scores, because I got to clown. I got to get all my props together. But it's a lot of football. And, and, and it's, there's a lot of football moms out there right now. There's a lot of um, sports parents that absolutely refuse to ask me a question or refuse to tune in for whatever reason. They're not hurting me. I'm just trying to put information out there. But they do go back and watch it later, Brandy. Trust me. I, I know they do. I see the views. And when I see them in person, they talk to me about my lives. So it's okay. But you're going to see that kind of stuff too. Listen, it, the door is open. Not because I think I'm better, but again, because we've been there and we're going through this journey. It is absolutely fun. Oh my God, it is fun. So if you have any questions, listen, anybody out there, once you, you see the live later, hit me up. It's not that serious. Just just hit gonna, me up. You don't have questions though. It's, yeah. It's not easy. Listen, go sit down with that little girl. It's, yeah, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. But it's fun. I'm telling you, it, it is definitely fun. Some some days the coach is going to have to get on your sign. Camera. Behind. No, I was looking at you because I didn't want to cuss. You better not. I'm going to smack you across the back but of your head. If he ain't used to it, he might call home a little upset. Look, he said, Cody, stop trying to move into the family. We fool, but, boy, bye. <laughs> but when they first get there, I can't. they going to break them. Oh, my God. So, Brandy, since you are him. one of my up-and-coming sports moms now, they won't break him. when he leaves, <laughs> he is not going to come back the same kid. going to be a little man. He's going to be a little man. You're going to cry, and you're probably going to call daddy every day. Oh, oh Lord, you're going to call the baby every day. You're going to want to go and pick your child up. Don't go pick that boy up, Brandy. Leave him where he at. But you're going to cry, but he's going to come back a totally different person. A totally different person. And... Uh, even where is Brandy's son going? So, Wendell, let me tell you about my friend who's on here, her son. He plays at CJ's uh, former high school, from, former high school, Coco High School. And he's just, what, Brandy, ninth grade? He's a freshman. But when I tell you, this kid is a beast, Wendell. Listen, we go to the games on Friday nights. I'm going to have to go live so you can see him in action. That's real. He is amazing. That's real. So, um, we hoping he go to Florida, if that's what you're asking. Um, but he's he's just now a, a freshman in high school. Make sure he stay in Florida. It'll make it a lot It'll easier. It'll make it a lot easier. It will. Um, but even though CJ in Florida and they play out of state, as y'all all know, mama go to every game, home or away, I am there. Um, Carmen, what the hell wrong with you? <laughs> Dank said, who a beast? Day Day, Brandy's son. Day Day, uh, Dank, uh, Brandy's son is a beast. Um, But yeah, it, it's fun. Tenth, oh, he's in the 10th. Oh, so he's a sophomore. See, he's a sophomore when they, when they I got some, listen, he'll be there in a couple years when they're, we gonna work on him graduating early and getting him up oh, there. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> My other little homie, CJ. CJ Thompson. CJ Thompson. Yep, CJ Thompson. Look out for him too. Listen, Jalen. Jalen, oh, so we have kids from Rockledge High. Jalen Mitchell, definitely on, on the rise. Pop said I can wear his jersey. Believe that. When he said that, Wendell, I don't believe, believe that. that. I just said it. Uh, oh, I wait, just said hold it, on. Bro. You definitely can get that. You talking about this jersey, Wendell? You definitely can get that. Is this the jersey you're talking about, Wendell? Turn around. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This one? This one, Wendell? <laughs> Well, I didn't hear that, so... Yeah, check this out. <laughs> check this out. If y'all get my old lady more prescribers... Prescribers? What is it? Subscribers? Subs oh. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, Wendell, I'll give you the jersey. If he give me some more subscribers, you'll give him the jersey. Yeah. Yeah, okay. For real. Listen. That's my word. Wendell, you ain't giving me the damn jersey. Nah. I got a jersey. You ain't getting I'm that getting one either. He done, first off, let's talk about him giving us giving stuff away. He done already gave away a hat. I had just purchased the hat. He wore the hat to the football field. The very next day, hat was given away. What else you done gave away? T-shirts. T-shirts. I buy um, him T-shirts. Um, and he hoodies, throw. Hoodies. Two, he give T-shirts away. Hoodies. He's giving my hoodies away. You ain't getting my jersey. 
So don't even get too happy. It's not her jersey. You ain't getting my jersey. Um, God knows y'all telling the truth. Thank you, Herman. Uh, Wendell. Yeah, whatever, Wendell. Uh, Danks, I definitely dig this. So, Dank, listen, I'm going to do this every week. Like I say, you know, um, we just got, it, we you. got so much information to share. And like I say, it's, it's, it's so many. And, listen, it's not, and it's not just for football. It's, it's not for, just for football. I it's know, for, boy, I know your daughter. Basketball, oh, definitely my, going. Oh, my Lord. Definitely going all the way. <laughs> definitely going all the way. WNBA, listen, yeah. she don't play. She So, Wendell and, and Cody, our friend on here, Damien, his That's daughter right, is a basketball player. So, when she gets into the WNBA, y'all got to support her just like y'all do, CJ, and ride for her just like y'all. Now, her daddy is going, too. But, he you know. No, he ain't no going like boy Cody. He ain't no going like no. Cody. <laughs> Well, Cody, well, Cody <laughs> told him to shut the F up. And well, Cody go in, boy. Yes. Dank, Cody will go in for you. Cody will go in for you. We got you, Dank. Cody, Cody got your back. So, um, so yeah. So, let me see. So, we got about 10 more minutes. Yes. So, um, but, yeah. I, I'm doing this, Dank, because, it's like I said, so much information out there. It's not even like Brian said. It's not just for football. It's sports period. The recruitment process is all the same. The process is the same. Getting accepted into a college is the same. The requirements are the same. Academics, grades, test you, scores matter the same. So that's why we're doing it. And when you and when you commit to a school, you commit to that school and not that coach. Yes. Because the yes. coach could get fired tomorrow. It's, yes. It's real. Now, speaking of commitments. When Coach Matt got fired, it just seemed like he jumped off a cliff. He and was there one day, next day he gone. Next day he was gone. And my baby wanted to leave. I ain't gonna lie. He, mm -hmm. Oh, it was a hurt. It was so hurtful. So, but, but, CJ, as we all know, that Wendell, joker committed yeah. to about 20 schools. Wendell, Wendell, <laughs> Wendell, you better believe it. What do you say? I'm just saying, you letting me and Cody meet CJ Saturday? After the, after the game. After the game. Oh, yeah, because it is an early game. So, gate, absolutely. Gate 18. Yes, gate 18. You will you will be able to meet CJ on Saturday. Facts pop, commit to the school. That is true because if you commit to the coach and something happens. Yeah, he is, boy. It, listen. Boy, and let me tell you this. Boy, I love me some Coach Matt. Yeah. You might not like what he did on the field. Whatever. Yeah. He'll 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 treat your kid. Yeah. Exactly how he recruited. Listen, we were all hurt. I, I did a, I did a video about that too because I wanted to understand this whole what did y'all call it? Uh, um, yeah, come to gate eighteen. What, what was it? What what did y'all call it when when he left the school and y'all? Oh, business. I was trying to understand the business. Yeah. I, I I still I had a hard time understanding <laughs> the business. <laughs> what he said? Um, he might be an, he might be an all right person, but he can't, can't coach. <laughs> Listen, when there you ain't gonna talk about my damn coach, okay? <laughs> Listen, don't make me get the cussing on this Christian live. Okay? Hey, man, don't be acting like <laughs> Cody, bro. Yeah, you can't act like Cody. I cannot deal with two yeah, of y'all. I need I, somebody to say. Y'all need to be like me and Brian. He the, keeps me we, balanced. We need you to chill and be a little bit edgy. Yes. Cody, we need you all the way over. Yes. All the so, way over. So, my friend Mike... Um, no, Wendell, you ain't no, you gonna leave Mike alone. Somebody kicked me out the Gator Action Group. Mike got me back in. <laughs> Mike got me back in there. I was going off in the Gator Action Group. Somebody kicked me off. Somebody kicked me out the group. I need to know who kicked me out the group. Um, let me see. Dank said the man went to went back to back SC championship games. Exactly. Exactly. They, oh listen, they can say what they want to say about him. Like I say, he yeah. was an awesome. He, yeah, forget awesome the person. coaching. He was an awesome person. You're right, though, he, Wendell. He's an awesome person. He's a better person than he is a coach. Yeah, he is. He's an I amazing. I don't know how that sound. But, but, you know. I, yeah. love, I loved him as a person. Yeah. Him yeah. and his wife. Him and his wife. Oh, my him God. That was my girl. Yeah. That was my girl. So, the original Florida staff, when CJ got there, you know, we, we would be lying if we sat here and said that we don't miss them. We would be absolutely lying. Um, but Coach Dixon, that's my brother right there. Again, bro. it's a, oh my God, it's Coach my Dixon brother. is amazing. Robin, how you doing? How's the kids? How's the new baby? Um, but yeah, you know, we, you know, we we now have a new coach, and, and that's what we're going with. But definitely, um, let me see. They don't kick. They don't kick me out. I troll every day with the lies. <laughs> he chewed the hell out that gum though. You better listen. When the hell I'm about to kick you out my group. <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool now, boy. Ain't never wear no socks or nothing. Ain't never have on no socks. Well, cool. Ain't ever have on no socks. Yes. What do you say? Black is crazy. Yes. So, yeah. So, seriously, um, like I said, we're going to do this, you know, once or twice a week. Definitely after the weekend when the scores come out. Because y'all saw me last week up here acting the fool. 
you know, with the damn, stank, stank uh, <laughs> with my, with my helmet on and, and my, and my, uh, and, and my FSU shirt and my, and my turnover chain. Boogie, go get my turnover chain and my FSU shirt. You know, I'm going to have props for everything, everybody. I'm telling you, because it's fun. I talk crap to these other schools and it's done out of fun. It's exciting, especially to go at it with FSU fans. They are the absolute worst, but I love them. Oh my God, we go at it. But again, just be mindful whenever you talk. And I'll and I tell my friends that's watching now, whenever you go on and you're going at it with your rival school, just be mindful of the kids. At the end of the day, well, like I said, I'm a mother first. Don't talk about people's kids. You can say the school suck. You can say they ain't performing. You can say they got this, they got that. That's absolutely <laughs> fine. But you cannot talk about people churn. No, they do got a turn over backpack now. They do. Cody is crazy. Cody is crazy. Yes, you need that. Get it. Um, but yeah, but listen. Who got the turn over backpack? FSU. You ain't seen the backpack? Or uh, Miami. 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 They got a new chain, though. Listen, this was my Florida State shirt, okay? Look, look, move your head, Macy. This was my Florida State shirt. I made this, and I'm keeping this, so I, I got to have this all season. Because let me tell y'all something. Oh, they going to lose again, and I'm going to light them up. Saturday. Listen, Saturday. Miami. Saturday. Look at this. Look at this, Miami. Miami. <laughs> This is my turnover hanger. Look, put it around Brian's head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got the turnover hanger for him. I got the turnover hanger. So, uh oh, I don't want to choke you. Don't tell me. I got the turnover hanger for him. I got some for him. Because they're going to lose again, too. Listen, we might lose again, too. But I just told y'all, we got 10 more games. And I, I, I'm, listen, I ain't as large as CJ. I ain't on ESPN yet. So I'm saying it. We winning every game. From here on out, we winning every game. Now, what y'all will not see, friends, y'all won't see no Gator props. I don't care what y'all say. Bump y'all. I ain't making no props for the Gator. I might. I might. I might. Uh, let me see. Uh, don't make no slick comments about CJ, though, because I low-key low get getting my feelings. <laughs> Herman, you say Florida State going to win? You be, you be, we'll see. Be, ooh, 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 hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. You be singing the Kiki song? What? Kiki. <laughs> CJ, do you love me? Are you riding? Oh my God, listen. So let me see, hold on. <laughs> my friend, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. That's that's my friend. Her son plays at the University of North Carolina. She she just joined the live. So, hey, Tanya. Tanya, listen, I know you probably just jumped on, but being a new sports mom, how is it? What are some pros and what are some cons? Look, Dank said, Dale is Johnny Carson and Black is Ed McMahon. That's true, Dank. That's, that's true. No. <laughs> that's true, Dank. It's the other way um, around, player. No, no. I'm First the, off, I'm this is my show. Star. And I'm going to be done kicked him off my show she if can't. he keep on with the foolishness. He won't be back on no shows. She can't do it. Right um, so, tell you, what are some pros? What are some cons? And what have you learned thus far? So, we'll give her a minute to answer that, uh, fam. Or, tell you, can I add you onto the live for a few minutes? Dank. Is it okay? Dank, um... um I'm uh, what the black dude name was in the Rat Pack. Hey Brandon. Huh? Hey, Br huh? Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, I was about to say what Rat That's Pack? I don't I... even know what that is. Hey Brandon, how's the baby? How's the family? Um, listen, I, listen, Brandon. Did you not see this? Did you not see well, it's this? One of y'all. Did you not see this, Brandon? Did you not see this? Okay. Did you not see this? Did you not see that? Okay, Tan, you look well, a mess. Okay, type it. Tell me to it. Tell me right quick. Some pros, some cons, and what have you learned so far? Herman, I'm a grown man. <laughs> Cody, I got one up on you. I was live with him. Believe you that. were, Wendell. You were. You asked me. Cody, Cody. Cody, we can't go live with you. No, Cody. <laughs> name a person you cannot put on the live because you don't know what they're going to say. Well, that's Cody. Cool. <laughs> well, I... Cody. We cannot. Well, boy, go we ham. Can, we cannot. Next time somebody sneak this and don't code it, boy, you're going to be the first one yeah. I call. Yeah. So, we both, did you, did the doctor, did they stretch you out today? I told you he uh, released me. The doctor did not release you. Listen, really? so, um, as you guys know, we got into a car accident a couple of weeks ago, last month, and this has been the absolute worst. That's one reason I've been trying to do all this laughing and playing around, because... The pain, the back burning, 
the tightness, the soreness. I don't wish this on nobody. Uh, and then I go today and I'm damn move that, back for a minute. I'm damn near Superman right So I go today and look. Help me pull my leg up. <laughs> look at my leg today. Look at this. This is my first time seeing it. Yes. So, <laughs> Ah. I go today because I think I'm getting better and look at this foolishness. So, yeah. You got a sleeve. I got a sleeve on the leg because my knee is doing something weird now. So, yeah. But um, let me see. Mike say, don't go live with Cody. He would get you kicked off the book. I agree. No. I agree, Mike. Cody is Cody out of control. Mike. Cody said Mike did 30 no, days. Oh, you sure did. Mike, you did get kicked off the book for 30 days. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, Herman, God is good because I'm telling you to be hit. Herman, Herman what you talking about? To be hit head on by how that lady hit us. Oh, you like talking about that? Oh. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Okay, so wait. Funny thing with the accident. Tell them what happened to you in the accident. What you mean? With them glasses. Don't act like you forgot. Oh, no, oh, so the impact was so hard it knocked the joker glasses clear off his face. <laughs> What? <laughs> he talked about he had look some at, 2020 vision. Look, look, look at Dank. Look at Dank. So, look at Dank. Listen, uh, you still hooping down? Dank. I can't do nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. The way my back and my neck is messed up. Um, my ribs was messed up. My knee messed up. <laughs> Right now, right now I'm on disability. Okay, I'm on the injury injury reserve team right now. So uh, what's her name? Tanya. Or Tanya? Yes, Tanya. So Tanya, my so Tanya, my friend Tanya. Let me tell you this, Tanya. Hold on, hold Tanya. on. Wait, we gotta read them what she oh, said. Oh. So Tanya's son is torn green. That plays for University of North Carolina, and she said some of the good, some of the pros, the cons, and what she's learned is. Dealing with negativity about what people have to say about your child's team. Having to hold your tongue about your kids. Girl, I'm trying to be a Christian. Tanya, I just told you, Christianity goes out the window when it comes to your babies. I lost my religion when CJ first went to Florida. I had a little bit in me, and it all went away. It's coming back a little bit, but then it went away again Saturday. So I, it's coming back. You know, today is a new day. So it, it's coming back, you know, a little. <laughs> but that, uh, again, so that's coming from a whole nother parent that's not even a gator parent that absolutely agrees with everything I said. It's hard because people got to understand we are parents first. We are parents first. And it is our job to protect our babies. <laughs> Cody, and Cody I'm called riding them, for mine. Cody called them keyboard warriors. Yes. So what were you going to tell Team Pumpkin? Cuss their ass out. Oh, my. <laughs> Damn you. Tell you, tell you. Listen, you gonna do it. You gonna do it. Yeah, um, let me see. Let me see. Brandon, uh, hold on. Brandon said, "You guys gonna be in Tallahassee this year? We'll be there this year. Got it? Yes, we absolutely will. Oh, we coming to beat their ass. Yeah, we listen. I'm coming. I might wear this, Brandon. But she ain't wearing that, Brandon. I, I, I might wear this, Brandon. I, I might wear this. Okay." I, I might wear this. I, I might wear it, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll definitely be there. Dale, add uh, Tasha Smith. She sent you a request. Okay, okay, I sure will. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on a minute, y'all. Let me... Um... Okay, I'll, I'll add her. Um, I'll get her um, 10, yeah, I sure will. One day at a time, sweet G. Yes, Mike. You know, my baby... Okay, so... CJ had just got a truck, a Chevy Equinox, uh, earlier this year. He called it. This. Now, mind you, he rushed us to the dealership. He wanted to get this truck. So he get this truck, and he get the Gainesville talking. After he take his trip in the truck, Mom, I want to trade the truck in. It's a soccer mom car. So he sent, He got him a Camaro. He sent nah, the truck. You forgot, you forgot it. What? He put the feet on them. Okay, so he put the rims on the truck first, and... All of a sudden, it wasn't as sucker momish. He said it was a spaceship. He said it was a spaceship. So then he goes and buy a Camaro, and he sends the truck home to his brother. So that's the truck that the lady told us. So I told him, you finally got a chance to get rid of the darn soccer mom truck. So yeah, the soccer mom truck has been told. And, and thank God I was in that truck because I have a Kia. And as fast as we Trail. were going, she would have. if she would have hit me in my Kia, she probably would have flipped us. But um, definitely one day at a time. You know, I'm getting better. The pain is is uh, say, is, say is, is sweet, crazy. Say sweet Jesus. Yes. So, uh, 
Tell you said exactly when you try to cuss them people out. Tell you don't be cussing them people out. Oh, yeah, yeah. First yeah. off, Wendell, you ain't going to be looking good in your New Jersey because you ain't getting it. Well, you're going to be looking clean, boy. <laughs> don't forget your backpack, Mom. Oh, I got it. Uh, Cody, uh, he said, Wendell said, Cody, I told you we fool. Go be a fake fan somewhere else. <laughs> 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 listen, so listen, but yes, but it was definitely fun. Um, Brian might not be here next week. You know, on my live because the hell I'm going. he gets in, don't know how to act. Nah, so, for the record, for the record, what when I walked in the house, I tried to walk by. Mm -hmm. she, no, you came to the door. She called me back. No, you came to the door. You was like the dog. I'm trying to do my live in peace, and the dog keep putting a snout through the door. I just gotta let y'all in. Um, now she comparing me to the dog. Hey man, you get your ass off this live. Who JD. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Cody, we got a Kentucky fan on the line. <laughs> and Cody better not cut up. Cody, cut up. And listen, James Davis, he is my wildcat father. But well, you say something out of line, boy, I'm a good boy. Hey, J JD, but you know what? I want to add JD on the line for a minute. I want to ask JD a question. JD, I'm, I'm going to bring you on for a minute, okay? Let me, let me, let me see. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me get. He say I come in peace. Listen. Hold on. I want to add you. I want to add you on the on the camera. Yeah, this is my people's. Yes. Jay, okay, hold on. Let me, yes, hold on. Let me get you for, for my for my YouTube. Hold on. What's up, big homie? Can y'all... So what's happening with you? What's good? Y'all done flipping cars out there? Can y'all see him? <laughs> okay, so listen. That's not going to work, but that's okay. Hold on, JD. So, we got... Uh, a Kentucky, let me see. What what they said? Katrell, get off my damn live. Uh, Dank, you can't get rid of black. Y'all don't let me do it. Dank, he about to go. He don't know how to boy, act. Katrell, Katrell, I don't, Katrell, listen. Cody, we got a troll on our page. I don't know if he a real fan or if he a fake fan. I don't know, Cody. Yeah, they, 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 uh, Cody, they 31 and 1. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. JD is uh, one of my. He is the, his his son is the one I was rooting for. His son plays for Kentucky, number forty four, Jamin Davis. He fam, he family. So we actually met up together at the uh, at the game on Saturday. So JD, how was it? Uh, no love, you big know what? boy. I will, I will say this right here. Mm -hmm. Plays out of bed. Uh, being here, being here at Griffin Stadium, the fans in there. They, they are very, very respectable. I mean, granted, you ain't, you ain't meet Cody, bro. <laughs> can't win them all, but they like, you know, hey, there's a better team. I mean, this one guy stood behind me, he yelled the whole game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I told him, like, hey, you took it down there. He said, yeah, I ain't want to say it, but yeah. And I mean, it was, it was a good game. It was good. I was, it had nervous moments that first half, but. Yeah. So so okay so being a dad of a Kentucky Wildcat and 32 years later y'all win how how did you feel? Well, I you mean, wait you notice I said 32 years later. <laughs> I, 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 got that. I got that. Yeah, it's all good, but um, uh, it, it, it felt good. Uh, yeah, I I ain't never seen so much joy and happiness. No, not just not just the hell the whole thing. The fans, the I, band, the, the coach, everybody was just happy. I think, and I think. I talked to my son about three in the morning. They still party on the election. I'm like, Tell yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. I think despite, despite the guarantee, I think y'all came to break that streak anyway. Bro. Yeah. Y'all came, y'all played y'all ass hey, off. You know what, real, real talk? All, all, all summer long, they had that bit of taste in their mouth about that one game. They yep. don't care about nobody else but that one game. Yeah. So, yep. but I mean, I ain't say, you know what, though? I will say this right here. I may get in trouble by a lot of Florida fans, but I'ma say it. Felipe Lopez or Felipe Lopez <laughs> is not the that ain't the quarterback for y'all. Well, y'all need to find a quarterback. He ain't have a bad game. <laughs> Stat wise, he ain't have a bad game. Him holding no, he on to didn't, but it, it's, it's, I mean he holding him a whole lot. That could have been the thing, but but that Davis boy running that ball, good lord of my man, I tell you, he was man. He had me bite my fingernails up there. And, like, and, and yeah. P. Ryan. And P. Ryan. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Kadarius Tony, P. Rhyme. Yep, absolutely. And you know what? Hey, but, and, um, oh, well, also, man, my condolences to not, I said, yeah, I guess I can't say condolences, but. Hey, I wish the speed recovery that I want to do that towards ACL too. Marco. Yeah, Marco Wilson. Yeah, Marco Wilson. Yeah, that's him. yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, he's out for the season, but definitely praying for him. You know, he he gonna bounce back, and he you know he gonna come back, and he gonna do he gonna do good things. So, but yes, well, like I say, congrats. Look, so we told you we got a goon on our page. What? Cody say. Leave my quarterback alone. Only reason y'all won is because of missed tackles. CJ, the only one that could tackle that nonsense elsewhere. Take that nonsense elsewhere. <laughs> Listen, I told you Cody is a goon. Cody is a goon. Listen, Cody is a goon. I told you. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell you, 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 you are. You don't need to take that up with me. Hey, he need to talk that with the coaching staff. <laughs> well, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are you yeah. wasn't sitting nowhere. You wasn't sitting nowhere near Cody. Yeah, right. yeah, Boom, but no, boy. but he good. But he good people. Yeah, he, he good definitely people. he good people. But but definitely, you know, congrats to you guys. Definitely tell Jamin, you know, congrats to him. Nah, you know. they ain't running through CJ. And um and definitely, like I say, so um, set, who do y'all play Saturday? Uh, we got a cupcake team. Um, Murray State. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then um. Uh, Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, we go out there. We go to Mississippi this year, so I'm gonna be. I'm going to that game. We go. We we play Mississippi State too. So okay. Twenty two missed tackles. But yes. Yeah, so, Dang. but like I said, I just wanted to bring you on from you know definitely considering that your baby played for Kentucky. So again, congrats. And Wendell said y'all ain't getting no congratulations from him. Look, my friend Wendell said no congrats from him. My dog said he ain't congratulating nothing. Okay, I'll get, I'll bring you back on. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, listen, it's all fun. It's all fun, you know. But, again, we will do this every week. So, for y'all, like I say, for those of y'all that have questions, you know, you can inbox me. You can call me, text them to me. And that way to give me something to talk about every week, even though I think I, I got it. But, listen, I'm, I'm open to everything. So, definitely, um, we'll call as soon as we done, pull. Um, Definitely, as soon as... Um, as soon as, you know, we get some <laughs> updated scores from the weekend, but that's, um, that's, we'll that's, be on. That's family, Wendell. That's yeah. just like you. Yeah, family. That, that's family. Matter of fact, if you look in, at, go back to my Facebook pages when we first took CJ to school, um, him and his son, they were with us when we uh, when we um, took my baby <laughs> to school. And, and because of that, his son graduated high school early. They, when that listen. Wendell is a faithful CJ fan. He a Florida fan, but that fool is a CJ Gardner Johnson fan. You hear me? I don't know no volunteers. Listen, uh, Cody. That he said, if I bring a vol, yeah, no, volunteer. Uh, Tennessee. Oh yeah, vol. Yeah, uh, vol. Well, you know what? You had one on here early. That's why I was speaking of her son graduated already. But oh. you had one on on here. I'm um, Salisbury. His, that his mom and I are friends, so she's from my county too. She's from my my city, so yes, that's that's my girl. She matter of fact, she was one of the volunteer parent, the oh, Vols oh, parents hold on, hold who on. really go helped ahead. me through the process. So go, go ahead, Herman. Herman said he have a question. Yeah, What's her your question, Herman? Praise God, I'll come through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring her live. Whatever. Y'all better leave my friends alone. What's your question, Herman? Hurry up, man. Mm -hmm. Hold on. He, he typing, so. Wendell, what, what, what size shirt you wear? Jersey. Small. It's too, that's too, <laughs> that's too big. <laughs> Can wear a big one? Mm -hmm. What um, size you wear, homie? I hate the voles in that stupid orange. Cody, go to sleep. Go go somewhere and go to sleep. <laughs> no, hey, well, that joke is That joke is crazy. Listen, I love me some Cody. That you hear me? Crazy. Cody, go to sleep. Go go to sleep, Cody. Go to sleep. Um, hey. So let me see. So I'm gonna answer this hey, last Nancy, question, give me my phone. and then um, you know we are gonna go ahead and, and end the live. I gotta feed give my, my phone family. on the table right now. Um, but uh, any size number twenty three. <laughs> Bring it. Listen. Bring your ass a onesie. Can you call my mommy? <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I said, we're gonna do this every week, you know. It is it's gonna be fun. Hold on. Hold on what? Hold on, I gotta show you this. <laughs> Baby gap will work too. I can't. <laughs> Herman told us I was just playing. Herman, I'm about to drop you from my feet. Hold on, what you Yeah, don't you you should never. What's mm -hmm. up, Jason? 
see where I can find this at. Hold on, what you looking for? Where you at? Look. When Dale, let me see, go back. It said that wasn't the announcer, that was me hollering at him. Oh my God, I can't, I can't even deal. <sighs> see, that's Cody right Cody. Now. At CJ Garner, the best player on D, facts. Don't listen to these dumb butts. Keep running that lip game. I love it. You back it up, bro. Goddamn, Cody. That ain't it, though. That ain't the one I'm listen, talking about. Uh, Dank says, I need an autographed CJ jersey. Dank, Brian seems to give stuff away all the time, honey. So, you, listen. I got you, homie. I will pay top dollar if we get Wendell a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they, when, when they'll say ain't nobody get his autograph until he done. Babe, uh, uh -huh. Specs say what's up. Hey, I'm, Specs, I'm how you doing? How you on? doing? I, um, ain't, I can't find the one with Cody on that thing. Oh, my God. Was Cody cutting up? Man, Cody went ham. Oh, my God. Only Cody. Only Cody. So, listen. Um, we got to go. He's he's looking for us. So, he find it before we end, but I doubt he will because uh, it's 7.20. I need to get my family fed. But, um, again, definitely... Damn. Uh, you know, we're going to do this every week. Like I say, you know. And listen, and I'll go live as much as y'all want me to. It, it's fun for us. You know, it, it definitely um, helps us get through the week. But, um, again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my, U my YouTube channel. Um, Dank Cody is a fan, too. He's so funny. Cody is a fan, too. You Listen, ain't nobody going to talk crap about CJ and think Cody ain't coming for him. You hear me? Cody is hilarious. He a fool. He out of control. Um, Cody, I'm going to find it. But, yes, I'm going to snatch his phone and follow myself from his account. I'll take the ass with that. <laughs> Wendell, listen, we going to make sure he follow you. Listen, this guy here, this guy here, he'll make it happen. Uh, Dank say what time and date? Dank, what time and date? For the next live. Oh, for the next live. Okay, so uh, today's Tuesday because I was going to just wait and go live like one. But listen, I'll go live every other day. I'm telling you, it don't matter to me. Nah. Listen, what's today, Tuesday? Yeah. When we'll do it, Friday? Yeah, I think. We'll be back Friday. I'll put the notification up. What, what, what time works best for y'all, though? I'm sure anytime after 5 o'clock. Oh, okay. um, yeah, so anytime after 5 o'clock. So we'll go live again. Mm -hmm. um, leading, and, and I'm definitely going to do this. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys an inside look at, you know, being here at Griffin State. I'm going to go live at the games. You know, you guys will be able to get, you know, ask some other Gator parents some questions. And, um, yeah, so definitely stay tuned. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for the interaction. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know what? Rose Mary Rose. I'm Mike Martin. I, I want to blow up. I ain't going to say somebody about to blow up. I want to blow up. So, um, but no, but definitely. Um, I'm not I'm not coming, Sarah. The boogie, I got to uh, stay home for boogie. Yeah, he got to stay home with boogie game. So, today is not Wednesday. I today told you, is, what's I today? told you, today, Tuesday. Tuesday. Night. Okay, I'm not going to say, Hermie, you're going to make me think I'm crazy. You need to block his ass. To Today is Tuesday. You're going to get your ass blocked. So, um, but yes, I would definitely put a notification out there when I go well, live I, again. I'll send the jersey, Wendell. Um, Wendell, I'll see you Saturday without the jersey. But um, definitely, um, she a player thanks hater. for joining, like I say, the jump, well, Petty Johnson and Mr. Johnson. And, you know, we'll be back. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for joining Helmet Chronicles because this... Yeah. Is um really guest star? I'm a guest star. I'm, I'm a guest star. No, you're a guest. Don't put the star in there. You're a guest. Oh. You will be out of here. Um, Hi. the next live. I may change. They go live tomorrow. <laughs> what Damn. you, wanna, what what you, you want me to talk, talk about? about tomorrow? I, listen, you know I can't. I'll go live every day. I don't care. I ain't got the no doctor, doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah, um, I go to the doctor in the morning. I'm out of work. Um, unfortunately, I can't go back to work right now due to my back being messed up. Um, so listen, I have nothing to do with my time right now. Nothing. Um, yeah, Hermit uh, Wendell, he did take my live over, but who you want um, to talk to? My mom. Your mommy at work. I want to yeah. call her. Okay, yeah. you can call her. Let's see, but she's at work, I'm sure. Um, he took it on. He did. Dank said definitely enjoying this for real. For real. thank you, Dank. Thank you so much. So listen. Hi, hold on, y'all. My goddaughter wants to interrupt my live and call her mommy. Hi, Sam. Hi. She just said she wanted to call her mommy. You're you're you're. She's interrupting my live. Oh, she is. <laughs> yeah. Hi.
Yeah. Oh, Hollywood, please. what time work for y'all? She pick you up when she get off at 8 o'clock. Sam, we gonna be home, okay? Okay. Tanya, okay, she on her what way. time good okay. for y'all? She on her way to pick you up, okay? Cody. Uh, here, go talk to mommy. Hold brain phone. Go talk to mommy. <laughs> go talk to her. So yes, um, but thank you, Dank. Seriously, like I say, it, it like I say, it's all fun. You know, we just want to make sure that we help parents out that's going through the process. Like I say, even when it it's basketball, <laughs> you know, soccer, tennis, whatever. It, you know, it, it's just the insight on being a sports parent because it's definitely tell, fun. Tell it's hard. Um, so yeah, so okay, so Dank say after five, so so uh, yeah, we'll do that. I call him, I call him tomorrow for you, Wonder. Okay, so, okay, so so tomorrow, okay, so you know what? Helmet Chronicles will go live tomorrow. So tomorrow, if we can get him on the phone, it's gonna be featuring CJ. We'll have him on speakerphone, for like, and we'll allow like, you guys to ask questions for like and two or three minutes for like two or three minutes, maybe five. But we'll we'll try to get CJ on the phone tomorrow. Um, for those that want to, you know, be a part of it. I ain't going to make no promises. I ain't going to make no promises because he is busy. I don't know his yeah, um, he is busy. Um, yeah, his dad was interrupting him today, texting him, and he said, I got to go. I'm on my way to class. See? Taught him well. The man here interrupting the child, his his learning, his education. Look, when, when does they know private life, me only? <laughs> so, yeah, so definitely... Um, if we can get him on the phone tomorrow. Herman, what the hell is you talking about? Herman, tomorrow's episode is just going to be a few minutes with CJ. And make sure Friday is going to be. You make sure you sleep. Yeah, you go to sleep. But definitely, so thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is on my Facebook page. It's also on my Instagram. And um, yeah, let's get these views up. Hey, so, y'all make sure y'all. Y'all okay, make she coming. Y'all yes. make sure y'all get y'all questions. Yeah, get y'all questions ready. And and the questions will be for Friday. No, that's my boo. Herman, my boo. Whoop, Herman whoop, is my boo. Whoop his ass. No, <laughs> Cody. Herman is my boo. Um, hey Thaddeus, how you doing? How the twins? Thaddeus, boy, you got on a tie. You that leave is. my friend alone. You leave my friend. <laughs> so yes. Thaddeus, you black? He is black. black. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hold on, y'all. Somebody tried to call. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me turn. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I had to hit the do not disturb. So, yes. Um, that is. Hey, my Johnson family. Hey, how the babies? Um, that oh, is. that's one with the twins I'll be showing you on Facebook. Yes. He talked like this. That is. He do not talk like that. You that such is. a fool. That is still I have to deal with. This, this is my life. So, it's not just a sports mom. It's a wife of this crazy man. Hey, so, listen. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, um, we would definitely try to get CJ on the line tomorrow. Can't make any promises, but we would definitely do our best to do so. And again, all of your questions, anything that you have, um, get the questions ready for Friday. And um, that's when we'll, we'll we'll go in again on Friday. Do the Florida Gators get free Gatorade? They actually, yes. they actually make their, they own, make their Gatorade. own Gatorade. They make their own Gatorade, Dank. Specifically for each player. For each player. They got their yep. own Yep. Whatever you want to call it. So they it. get put on this machine that tests like their sweat, their electrolytes, and all kind of things, and they have a concoction designed for that particular player. So yeah, believe it or not, player. they do. Yeah, they they really do. Oh, yep. So again, thank you guys for joining. Macy, Marie, back off. Um, thank you guys for joining. And again, we hope to see you guys on the next episode of Helmet Chronicles. Mm -hmm. Featuring uh, Herman ain't no. I don't know what Herman is. Uh, featuring Herman, featuring like I'm on a roll here. What you mean? I was like, join us on the next Helmet Chronicles featuring. Oh, you just told me I'm a guest. Featuring who? Possibly. Oh. CJ. Young. Uh. Listen, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go and practice. Well, he got. He gonna have to. He needs some cue cards. He be falling one, all off. The <laughs> Uh, they still bad. Sup, y'all, them damn haters. Yes, they are, that is. That's we, right. Um, we um going to have, try to have y'all favorite player on here. Yes. So, again, what, no promises. Wendell, do you want the jersey or not, bro? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Wendell. We got to work with him. We got to get him right. He out of control. So, again, thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in for the first episode of Helmet Chronicles. We gonna go and eat dinner and 
We'll see y'all later. Yes, he is the darn yeah. hype man, dang. Oh, my God. But thank you, know, you, thank you, thank you for you know, tuning in. You know I get this thing started. Oh, my God. So, you listen. Know, Helmet y'all, Chronicles. Y'all were having fun until I got home. Oh, my God. Helmet you know Chronicles. Deuces. Peace. See y'all tomorrow.